Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I am gonna be showing you how to publish a custom policy into AnyPoint Exchange. Uh, in this video, there are some requirements. You're gonna to need to have access to your own AnyPoint Exchange, of course. You're gonna to need to have Maven installed locally. And then lastly, you're gonna to need to have an enterprise license in order to install this policy or publish it into your exchange. Um, there are just some dependencies and modules that are only available through the enterprise license that are needed uh, in order for you to compile and build and deploy the policy into exchange, okay? So here's the policy that I'm gonna be publishing into my AnyPoint platform uh, into Exchange. Um, this is a custom policy that does have a dependency on a custom extension or a custom connector um, for Mule 4, uh, but you may come across a custom policy that doesn't have any dependencies that can be published automatically uh, into Exchange, okay? So to start off with, we're gonna go ahead and download the code for this policy. And once we have that policy downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and unzip that file. And then in this file, or in, in this uh, expanded folder, we're gonna go ahead and make modifications to the POM file. Okay, so um, with this POM file, there are two specific areas that I need to modify in order for this to be deployed uh, and published into Exchange correctly. The first of which is the group ID, and this is also the organization ID of your AnyPoint platform account. And then because this is a custom policy that is dependent on a custom extension, we also need to make modifications to this version here to make sure that it matches up. But this may differ, of course, from custom policy to custom policy. In the case of this custom policy, it does have a additional dependency. Uh, and then again, you also wanna make sure that you check some of these dependencies down here before you try and publish this into um, your exchange. Um, this specific dependency right here, this Mule HTTP policy transformation extension, this is one of the reasons why you need an enterprise license um, in order to um, publish this into your exchange. Um, that the, the enterprise license allows you to have access to our Maven enterprise Maven repo in order to pull down this module and include it in the build of this specific policy. Okay. So let's switch over to AnyPoint platform and go get that information. So we'll switch over back to the to Chrome here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and log into the AnyPoint platform account. Let me make sure I put in the right credentials here. So once I'm signed in, um, if you're brought to the AnyPoint platform uh, home screen here, you can actually grab the organization ID or the group ID from the URL address at the top. So let's go ahead and copy this, come back to the POM file and paste that or replace the group ID of this file with the organization ID. And then the next thing we need to find out is the um, AWS v4 authentication extension. So if we go into the exchange for this organization and we find that specific connector here, we can see that that version currently is 1.1.0. So let's go back to the POM file and make modifications to that version number click on save. And then the last thing we wanna make sure do, we do is also make sure that the POM file or the Maven project knows how to connect to the Exchange server to grab any dependencies. So in this case, we've got the repository ID of Exchange server. So we need to make sure that within our settings.xml for our Maven um, you know, on, install locally, we need to make sure that we have the correct credentials. So I've already, um, you know, covered up the, the username and password for the settings.xml file, but this is the, the, the bare minimum uh, settings that you need within your settings.xml file in order to publish a custom policy. So this exchange server, this is the exchange server uh, or the, the AnyPoint platform exchange that we need to publish the policy into, right? So that ID matches the uh, repository ID here, exchange server. And this AnyPoint username and password, this corresponds to your credentials to log into your platform. And then for the Mule repository, in order to get the components or the, the, the modules needed to build policy, you need to get the Nexus credentials. Um, you, can, you can contact MuleSoft support if you're a customer and they can provide you a username and password to include within your settings.xml file. And then for this Mule repository, you also wanna have that repository set up here within your profiles. So you can see here, repository, uh, ID, meal repository that matches the ID up here at the top, okay? 
So once you have all that set up, right, you've, you've got the credentials for your uh, any point platform um, filled in here, and then you've also got the credentials for the Nexus repo, we can jump into a command window or a terminal window here, and we can go to the project. And then to deploy this policy into our exchange, we just type in maven clean deploy and hit enter. And then it's gonna go ahead and scan the project. It's gonna go ahead and pull the, down the correct dependencies. It's gonna go ahead and build it. And then it's gonna go ahead and upload it into your AnyPoint platform account. So we'll give it a couple seconds here. And then once it's complete, it should let you know that the build was successful and then it was published. So if we come over to AnyPoint Exchange now and go back to the exchange and hit refresh, you can see that that policy now is here uh, within your AnyPoint Exchange. And then in this case, you can go ahead and make modifications. You can add additional details around this, what this policy is for. Uh, but this policy is now available for you to use within API Manager when you deploy and set up a proxy or you set up an, a, um, you know, um, a connection to an API, uh, you'll see this policy within the list of policies that you can apply to your APIs. And then uh, lastly, jumping back over to the palm.xml file to kind of recap everything. So uh, as you can see in the video, it's, it's pretty easy to publish a custom policy into your exchange. The only thing that you need to make sure you do is set up your palm.xml and your settings.xml correctly in order for it to publish this policy into your exchange. Um, the most important pieces, of course, are the group ID, right? That corresponds to your organization ID of your platform. So once you download uh, or get a, a custom policy, make sure you make modifications to that or it can, you know, it's going to match someone else's AnyPoint platform account. And then in addition, the other key area here, of course, is the execution, right? So this execution is uploading the template and on deploy, it's going to look for this repository ID. So this, you either change the repository ID here to match your settings in your, your Maven file. In this case, this is gonna match mine, exchange server, but you may have your settings.xml set up differently. This could be called any point exchange, but the idea is that you wanna make sure that that repository ID matches the settings XML file server uh, ID. And then if there are dependencies to the MuleSoft uh, uh, Enterprise Maven repo, right? You wanna make sure that you have that repository set up here, as well as the credentials to log into that repository to pull down those dependencies, okay? So if you run into any issues or have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or shoot me an email at the stress. Uh, thanks for watching the video.